Hey, I'm Brandon, joined here by my buddy Pat, well, the good half of him, and we are checking out the Revit Eclipse pants. If you're familiar with the Eclipse jacket, well, now you have a matching pair of pants. These are incredibly low profile, very lightweight, designed for that two season, really hot weather riding conditions. Tons of mesh on these pants, so you're gonna get a ample amount of airflow moving through these bad boys. But before we get going on all those details, I do wanna take a second and talk about the overall fit. So I've got Pat here, he's about six feet tall, 220 pounds, and typically wears a size 34 to a size 36 in most of his riding jeans and riding pants. He is currently wearing an XL in these pants and they fit him pretty much spot on. They're a little loose around the waist um, and that is something to note. You'll probably want to bring your own belt to the party because there's no adjustments up there. But referencing the sizing chart with his measurements, the XL is fitting well for him. The large was just a little bit too snug. So get your measurements, reference that chart and you should be all set there. Now let's talk about some of the features here, right? I mentioned needing to bring a belt to the party. Uh, I think that's gonna be a good idea and that's why you see these belt loops going all the way around these uh, pants. And you don't normally see that with textile pants. Usually we have some Velcro adjusters uh, throughout the textile pants, but they've given us belt loops. I don't really love it, but I think it's gonna work. Most of us have belts, right? So it shouldn't make it too difficult to uh, make sure that they're nice and snug and not sliding down when you're out there riding around. Slash pockets on the side, and then you can see this main mesh construction. It's a combination of mesh and textile with these particular pants, but it's super low profile, as I mentioned. You can see all that mesh all the way down to basically uh, right before you get to the knees, and that's where that 600 denier material is gonna come into play, um, and that's gonna give you some additional abrasion resistance and protection in that area. Area, but lots of mesh and you're also going to get that 600 denier at the seat as well. We'll take a closer look at that in just a moment. But tons of airflow, super low profile, very comfortable to wear. Um, and underneath there you're getting that CE Level 1 C Smart Armor from Revit. It uh, moves very well. I think it's very comfortable. Uh, certainly something you can wear all day long. Now these are not designed uh, per se as over pants, but you can certainly wear a pair of jeans underneath them if you really wanted to do so. You would just want to make sure you size accordingly for that. That. The other thing I wanted to know as we continue working our way down, right here uh, around the bottom of the cuff, um, there's no you know, zipper or elastic or anything like that or any adjustability, so it might be a little bit tough to try and fit these over some of those larger touring type of boots. So something to take note of. I wish there was a little bit more adjustability right down there at the cuff, but there's not. So be cognizant of that. If you've got larger touring boots, you're gonna have to stuff them on the inside. So some people don't love that because of the look, but it is worth noting there. The other thing I wanted to mention, these are available in short and tall sizes as well, which is going to change the inseam length about two inches. So just something to note there as well. Pat, go ahead and face the side for me, sir. Let's take a quick look here at the side. You can see more of that mesh. I think a little bit more reinforcement in this particular area would have been nice um, because this is an area that is prone to impact if you're coming off the bike. So I think some of that 600 denier reinforcement could have been carried over a little bit uh, because I don't really need a ton of mesh right here on these sides per se. So I think that'd be a nice update on the next iteration of these particular pants. Pat, go ahead and face the back for me, sir. Very straightforward, as I mentioned before, you've got that additional 600 denier at the seat to give you some additional uh, abrasion resistance. You've got some pockets right there on the biscuits. And then as we work our way down to the bottom of the cuff, you can see uh, some pops of reflectivity, but otherwise tons of mesh on the back as well. So this is really geared towards those summer riding months. Pat, you can go ahead and face the front. So if you're a fan of the Eclipse jacket or you're simply looking for a pair of lightweight summer pants that are going to provide you a good amount of protection, I think the Eclipse pants could be a great option to take a closer look at. If you're looking for more details, click that info button. That'll take you over to the product page. And as always, if you have any questions about these pants or any other gear you might be interested in, don't hesitate to reach out to our customer service team. They're all riders, more than happy to get you pointing in the right direction. Thanks for hanging out with Pat and I and taking a closer look at the Revit Eclipse pants. I'm Brandon. Keep it pinned.